What's going on guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. Make sure you like this video and share it. If you're new, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I want to talk about T.I. and how he's going out really sad. T.I. is going out really sad and this is culminating in, I believe, what, over the last year or so? Uh, since the whole Hyman thing happened, they were out to get T.I. Not only that, and I'm talking about a lot of these blogs and just people in general that may not have liked what he had to say about that. But you also have the fact that T.I. has gotten more political. And we're going to get into that. But I want to speak to a lot of you, a lot of you guys, especially a lot of the melanated men who are listening. No matter what political leaning you have, I'm pretty sure all of us can agree that our image continues to be tarnished, especially if we are presenting ourselves as a family man, head of household, who makes the decisions, right? Y'all know they've been trying to tear down that image of us for years. This is why they went after Bill Cosby so hard that they did, you know, Bill, Co Bill Cosby over the 80s and, you know, 90s, so to speak. He was the image of a black father figure, right, of a household of growing children. Then you go into the 90s and you had the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. You had the father figure to uh, the nephew. He had his own kids, but he also took in Will Smith's character. An image of a black man who is educated, successful, and also is a family man who not only is raising his children, but he is raising the children of his sister. So I want y'all to understand that a lot of times in our society, and we need to have more and more conversations like this, because this has been going on, I would say, for quite some time now, we have seen this gradual push to destroy the image of melanated men who have families, who have careers, and replace them with the hyper-masculine thug. The guy who can't stay out of trouble, but he can keep a woman. The guy who has to get his money in the streets instead of in a boardroom or as in the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air in a courtroom, right? We're not seen in that manner. We, we are downgraded to being less than, but you have the women in our community, the melanated women, who are put, who are pedestalized as being educated and successful, and she don't need a man, right? They make sure they present her in a way that she is put up as somebody who is successful. She is a symbol of success. Meanwhile, that black man, he's downgraded to always getting in trouble, okay? To always being a womanizer to not wanting to take care of his children. That's where they want us to be. And I'm not saying that T.I. represents the image of wholesome fatherhood. I'm not saying that at all. But I think that plays a part. When you have a show called The Family Hustle and you present yourself as a leader of a household. And again, I'm not no conspiracy theorist, but I'm just saying this is one of the reasons I think you're seeing a lot of vitriol going this direction. It's because people don't like that image of him, of him controlling every aspect of his family. Now, in regards to the allegations that have been said about him, where there's smoke, there's fire. I don't believe that these these all these women are just lying on them. I, I just think that you have a situation where you have a very weird marriage between T.I. and Tiny. That's a very weird situation that they have, right? 
and everybody knows it everybody knows that that relationship is weird okay they rarely if ever break up even though they that ti is constantly getting caught with other women but i guess tiny's okay with him having other women as long as he brings those women back to the bedroom because they do have an open relationship and they have brought women into the relationship before uh black china in that situation was put out there that she's been a part of their threesome and i believe rob kardashian brought that up so we know that tiny's good with him having other women just not behind her back like she wants to know who those women are so she can get with them too which which actually brings us to an interesting point people look at ti as if he is the one controlling everything he's pulling the strings but has anybody ever taken the time to really look at the fact that tiny may be the one who's doing that again this is a woman who put her career i believe she's even said this to the to the side in order to be a family uh to, to be a a you know family woman so to speak to take care of the children to be you know at home right while ti went out and, and did his thing music wise and did what he wanted to do how do we not know that to keep that marriage going not only did she have to compromise but he had to compromise too and sometimes when you have two people who are willing to compromise and two people who want to keep things going you have to keep things fresh and things happen and i'm not here to say who's guilty who's innocent but uh, the information is out there. You can go and look at it yourself. But the information is out there. The information is out there. We all know that there's something going on there. We know that they like to get it in with women. But you would think that it's by the woman's free will. But again... And I'm just putting this out here because I have to put everything out here. I'm not just going to leave things out. There are people who get off on being able to take somebody against their will. I'm just saying. I'm not saying that that's what happens here. But a lot of times, and I've, I've seen this, there was a football player. I believe his name was Darren Sharper, right? You look at a guy like Darren Sharper, NFL player. Does he even seem like the type of guy that would need to slip anything in a woman's drink but he did multiple times in different states and was put away for it was put away for it but looks can be deceiving just because somebody has everything does not mean that they that they're okay with that because at some point they get bored they get bored and they want excitement okay that's why you will have guys and again again i'm putting everything out here you got guys that been getting been able to have relations with pretty much any woman they have chosen since they were probably teenagers but they'll get to a certain age where they're tired of that so they start dibbling and dabbling in other things i mean that's uh, listen i'm just putting that out here because if you look at the entertainment industry there's a lot of that going on there's a lot of people going this way and going that way or going both ways. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. Look at some of these uh, past pastors that have gotten caught up in situations, right? There are people who, again, you may think that they have it all. You may think that they're able to do this and that, but you have to understand that people get bored. When people have money, they get bored okay and they want excitement they want uh they want to walk on the wild side so to speak and i'm not saying that that that's what happened in situation because i don't want people going back mixing my words what i'm saying is i want you to get the mindset of rich celebrities okay who've probably gotten away with a lot of stuff over the years and because it's a couple right it's ti and tiny nobody's gonna look in their direction and say those people are doing the worst but looks can be deceiving and tiny could be the one who's the brains behind this people say well and you're blaming a woman no 
because everybody wants to look at T.I. as if this had to be him. But you don't understand is that Tiny likes women just as much as he do. And in re when it comes to getting women to do those things, it's the wife that talks the women into getting into those open threesome situations. It ain't the guys that are doing it, it's the women. But in society, we don't want to look at that. It's almost like that's become taboo. That the wife could be recruiting women for her husband and herself. And that some nefarious things could end up going on. Now, let me speak to the political aspect of this. Let me speak to the political aspect of this. T.I. has been very political. And because he's been very political, especially recently... Uh, now you have people in the politics world that want to see T.I. completely discredited. Even if he's found not guilty of any of any wrongdoing, the fact that people who may be political opponents of Leash, uh, of, Lan uh, of Keisha Lance Bottoms, who is the mayor of Atlanta, who T.I. supports, if, his, if the political opponents of her can discredit him because he's been one of her most vocal supporters and he's in the entertainment industry they feel like they can be successful in their goal and what they're trying to do right no good deed goes unpunished you would think that guys like ti will be going out who has been going after the systematic oppression of melanated people that in fact it's melanated women who are going to take him down and not only that, and I'm not saying they will, but I'm just saying, not only do they have these women coming forward, they went and got a black male lawyer to do it. They went and got a melanated lawyer, a melanated man to defend them. Just, and I think that it, it served a purpose as to say, hey, we're not just a bunch of women coming at you know this married couple are coming at this married you know married black man we have a black male attorney who's going to defend us and is going to fight this case and from what i heard of this guy you know he's out for he's out for he's out for ti man and there's no amount of settlement right now because you know he never said yay or nay on it but they're coming after ti <laughs> they're making sure that they utilize everything they can to do so but we will see